Most newbie traders are often confused with the concept of rollover. Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa and in this video, I'll talk to you about rollover and everything there is to it. Before we understand what rollover is, you need to understand that any given monthly futures contract in India has three expiries to it. Current month, mid month and far month contract. For example, we are in the month of August 2022. August 2022 becomes the current month contract. September 2022 becomes the mid month contract and October 2022 becomes the far month contract. Most traders prefer to trade the current month contract as liquidity is highest in the current month contract. Of course, liquidity is highest in the current month contract because most traders believe that the current month contract is liquid in the first place. So in a sense, liquidity chases liquidity. With that in place, let's proceed to understand what rollover is. Assume I go long on Nifty Futures one lot at 17,475. The margin that I would pay to go long on one lot of Nifty futures is roughly about 1,8,000. I'm long on Nifty because my expectation is that Nifty will boom much higher than 17,475 for the subsequent trading sessions. Now let's assume Nifty starts to move in my desired direction. As Nifty moves, the expiry approaches. Now, on the day of expiry, the contract will cease to exist, which means to say I can no longer hold my long nifty position. At this stage, I'm required to roll over my position. Rolling over the position means I will have to close my existing contract, which is in August 2022, which also happens to be the current month contract, and reinitiate the same position that is going long on one lot of nifty in September contract, which is the mid month contract. In this example, I'm long Nifty Futures one lot at 17,475. My target here is 17,700. Given that August expiry is close, I'm much better off rolling over my position to September. I can do this by closing or squaring off my position in August and reinitiating the same for the month of September. Now let's assume at the time of closing my August Futures position, Nifty is at around 17,600. So in this case, when I roll over, I book profits for the month of August and reinitiate the same position for the month of September. Now there is no specific time for you to roll over your position. Some traders prefer to roll over on the day of expiry and some prefer to roll over a day before expiry. I personally prefer to roll over a day before because I like to avoid all the expiry rush and the excessive volatility on the expiry day. Rolling over your position comes at a slight premium and this is because the margin required for the mid-month contract is slightly higher than the current month contract. For example, the margins for August 2022 contract for one lot of Nifty is roughly about 1,8,000. Whereas the margin required for September 2022 contract is roughly about 1,9,500. Now, why is the margin higher for the September contract as opposed to the August contract? Well, that's because the September futures contract is trading at a higher price as compared to the August futures contract. Now, the question is, why is the September contract trading at a higher price as compared to the August futures contract, given that the underlying is the same? Now to figure that, you need to get into the futures pricing formula. I've explained this in this chapter of Varsity. I would suggest you give it a quick read. Given that the lot size is the same across all different expiries, the contract value for the mid-month contract is slightly higher compared to the current month and the farm month contract value is slightly higher compared to the mid-month. Hence, higher margins as you go further down the expiries. Few last things before we end this video. When rolling over, traders often get over ambitious and add more lots, especially when the initial position is making a loss, with a hope that they can average out the loss. 
Do not do this. Averaging out on a loss-making position is a very bad idea. Another mistake that traders often do while rolling over their position is to close their first leg of the trade but take time to initiate the second leg. Do not do this. If you intend to roll over, then execute both legs of the trade simultaneously. Lastly, rollover as a concept works very well for futures but doesn't work that well for options. Option premiums are not just influenced by the directional factor, but they have other factors such as Vega and Theta at play. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next video.